Hello frogs, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Guide. Today we are going to kill the wither the easy way. The last time we killed it in the mines and it was pretty easy, but today is no damage gang, okay? Zero damage taken, that's my goal. And also we'll build a wither rose farm around it. But first let's start this episode while mine earns some diamonds, you know? And also find a new villager for our villager friends over there. Ah, as you may have noticed in time lapse, the beacon has to raise. That's because I put a speed to one of these. So I could mine really, really fast. Let's take a look, for example, over here. You see? Ooh. Not only insta mine stone, but I also run really fast. So we can run for a couple of chunks. In a few seconds, and let's see the diamond count for today's mining session. 74 diamond ores. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, the mining session only lasted for one hour and a little bit more. So, yeah. Pretty amazing. Oh, it's night time. I didn't know that. Anyway, let's grab our tools. And then we can grab this and. And the chest too. And then, then, then. Let's change armors and let me show you our new villager. Uh oh. Hey, hello. There you are. As he is in a boat, he won't dis. Oh, excuse me. As you are in a boat, you won't disappear. And what I want to do is to turn this guy over here again because I don't know why, but his prices went up and then down and then up, and I didn't even hear it. I mean, Anyway, you are trapped in there, I want to convert you, and oh, I forgot to add those diamonds to this pile. There we go, we have three stacks and a bit more. Soon we will be able to have a full diamond beacon. Well, not soon, but anyway, you know what I mean. So, as I said, let's go back to our base, which is in that direction. Grab a few materials and let's start with the tutorial, so we oh, 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 it's been so long ever since I came over here. Let's grab some ice for our little project of today. If you want to know how I did it and uh, when, I will try and remember to leave a link to this farm, okay? And I think I've got everything, let me double check. Okay, there's only a few things left to gather. But those I can find in the place where this farm is. The end. Yup. Oh. <laughs> yup. Oh, the end, the end, the end. It's been a while ever since I came over here. Well, not that long because I wanted to grab some obsidian and beat a chunk of, of, of this pillar. But I don't know what I did with the obsidian I mined. And I've lost it, so I need four obsidian. And now we have everything. So, once you have defeated the Ender Dragon, you have to go to the end portal like so and dig down. And now that we have this, we leave a two ga wide gap and find zero zero. This block is directly under the center of the portal. Like over here, you see? Zero zero. So, we, what we need to do is to make the T-shape like the wither with the tail in zero zero, and this is to remember where to put the wither. So now we clear a little space. And now that we have this cleared out, let's talk materials. We need three hoppers at least, two observers, one dispenser, very important. Comparator, a sticky piston, then kelp and water bucket, one soul sand, or if you don't have the water bucket and you want to use ice, 10 plus ice, I have too many ice, but yeah, five iron trapdoors and uh, another one, different, I like these trapdoors to be different, to see them better, some seeds, eggs, I don't think I will have enough, and double chest and stir. Now that we have the place where we are going to kill the wither, remember? This T shape with zero, zero. What we need to do is dig three down, one, two, three, like so. 
and this is where the chest will go so over there we go the other side the, this one hopper and the stairs will go here like so and now we dig our way out of here like okay remember to leave the gap there and now we take this and place the trapdoors here here and this two over here but for now let's leave this out so we can go in and out and the trapdoor there now we fill this up and as you can see from here we can access the chest and yeah let's put a stair over there in case we fall we can get out and now what we need to do go over here okay and you need to go from 60 at least 10 blocks down okay the width explosion is huge like 10 blocks radius so we are going to place the chickens at at least y50 but we are going to go at least five blocks more like so and now we dig out like this and this is where the dispenser will go the souls and will come in here okay and now we dig to the side like so comparator a sticky piston observer here and hmm. this observer is going to be tricky because we need to put it looking at the comparator but if we go back and do something like this it should be done and now we need to put the hoppers over here one and two and fill this up like this okay now let me go up a little bit and as you saw now items will be speed up you can hear it okay we go a little bit more high and we throw the eggs until we have at least two chickens like that oh oh four chickens in 16 eggs that was lucky now what we need to do is to breed these chickens until they grow up but first i want to get out of here so and now a few more stairs okay and now let's fill this up we want the eyes to go over here now if i break this i won't get the eyes but we can go down like so and start placing the eyes like this and now we have two options one we either let them freeze well not freeze melt or we go punch it or break it with the pickaxe i think i'm just going to break it with the pickaxe and when we get down we should get perfect and now we close this and it's almost done the way this farm works it's pretty easy so we have this room over here where we can go afk without worrying about the enderman because they can feed over here and they won't hit us okay and then what we do is we wait the chickens over there we grow up speed up eggs and the new chickens will go over here and grow filling this up and once we go back from AFK for at least 30 minutes or more, we just throw a splash potion of poison that we will make in a second with a spider eye. Potion 2, if possible, uh, strengthen it with glowstone, and the chicken's life will go down to 1. And then we summon the wither over here, it explodes, kills all the chickens, and all the wither roses go into the chest, and even chicken and feathers. So this is the most efficient chicken farm slash feathers, but pretty good with with the roses <laughs> so now what i need to do is to wait around here for those chickens to grow and this is another thing i wanted to mention this platform you can do it as big as you want to 
the bigger uh, the more chickens you fit in here the better the farm will be so I will go I grab a few hoppers more and maybe some seeds and try to make it as efficient as possible and come back so see you in a minute can you hear it can you hear it the farm is working look at that oh the chickens are going up let's take a look at my chickens <laughs> yes I have got a bit of them and I have extended the hoppers now I have six to there to there and yeah. it's really slow at first and I hope everyone once it has started producing the eggs it will go quite faster like way way faster so while I was waiting for the chickens to grow up what I did, did was to gather all this obsidian and finally I found the obsidian I mined, the one I was talking about at the beginning of the episode. I found it. So now I can do what I wanted to do. Let's craft a whole bunch of ender chest. A stack to be more precise. Oh, <laughs> what a sight. What a sight. And yes. You may be wondering where all that obsidian came from. Well, from here. <laughs> what I was doing was to find this spot, as you can see. I'm looking at the obsidian down and up. And once I'm like so, I press F3 and T. Or unplug my mouse because I'm on a laptop. And now, you see, free hands. And I have moved my. There you go. Now it breaks, and you can keep mining without being actually on the. Oh, sorry. You can keep mining obsidian without being actually doing it. So, that's how I did it. And let's grab the one that I fail. And now that this is done, well, mostly done, I need to FK a little bit more. So a lot of chickens are in here and they grow up. So what we can do is to finally put fire aspect on the sword. And let's name it Withers Pain. No, nope. that's let mark. Oh yeah, my my five sword is back on track. Now, while I was waiting, I sorted my shaker boxes and that's how I found all the obsidian. And by the way, that can go with the here and I don't really remember. Maybe for the tunnel? I think it was for the tunnel. The nether tunnel? I don't quite sure. It's redstone, magma, my wallet. So, in the meantime, while I go AFK over here waiting for the chickens to grow... Oh! There's one more. Nice. I'm going to put a time lapse of me building a little tower over my base because, uh, let's face it, my base needs some renovations, okay? Like, seriously, some renovations. So, in with the time lapse, I've been meaning to make this diagonal crane for quite some time now. I make the little unloading system and cargo area with some mushrooms and with, because that's what I have over there. Maybe I can put some pumpkins now. And then I build this tower. This is a very strong defensive design I came up with. And maybe it looks a little bland from the sides, but on the front it looks really cool. Or at least I think so. I even added a little balcony over there. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. it is time. Let's take a look at this. Now that all these chickens are over here. This chest is filled now with more eggs that we will be able to use in the future. But now, let's quickly go to our base and make a splash potion of poison, shall we? Hey, that's mine! Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, as last time, we put the bottles over here, nether ward, spider eye, and now we can make it poison too and splash potion and we can leave the 
Okay, so here, uh, let's take a look. And they are ready, plus poison of poisons, level 2. Ah, uh, we need some of those soul sand. Let's leave a stack over there at the farm. Why not? Okay, okay, now we drop the splash potion there. And you can hear how the chickens take damage. And now that they have stopped, it means their life is at 1. Now we summon the wither. And let's dig here so we can see it. The wither will explode now. Kill the chickens. And stay in there. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. As you can see, now all the wither roses are going inside there because they have gone into the hopper. And now the wither is stuck with her and we can keep it like so. And don't worry, even if your soul has knockback, which mine doesn't, the wither won't move from there. And we can kill it. Now it's in the second phase. Let me show it to you. From here, you can even see the wither from here, but it's stuck, I promise. So now we hit it until we kill the wither. And there it is. They just would never start ever. And there you have it, almost a stack of wither roses and another start for like, I don't know, 30 minutes AFK. Once the chickens start to produce, I mean, once the chickens start, they need some time to produce the eggs. And also, not only they need some time, but they need some time to grow. 20 minutes to be more precise. Let's put these chickens over here in case I want to go with K at another time because right now <laughs> I already have a lot of them. I don't need more. Uh, well, I do need more, but I don't have more with the skull, so yeah. Let's leave the splash potions there, everything here. I think I want at least a couple stacks because I want to make a wither skeleton skull farm. So yeah, but that's uh, something for the future. Next episode we will be building an XP farm here outside in the end and then after that we will be raiding some end cities because I've run out of sucker boxes, like truly run out of sucker boxes. I don't have any, 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 any. So, hope you like it and see you in the next one frogs. See ya!